I've been at UNCG for about two weeks now, so I just got here and everything I've seen so far has been great. Everybody in the department is really collaborative and collegial and uh, the resources are fantastic. What I'm really interested in is how the brain can actually keep itself stable while it's doing those really important learning processes. The idea is if we can figure out how animals are able to survive really extreme challenges to their brain function, we may be able to find clues that could point to uh, new ways in which we, are, we don't already know how the brain is able to keep itself stable. And I think by doing what we do in the lab, it's a really great way to keep that sense of creativity and wonder in students, which is very important for neuroscience moving forward. So we study bullfrogs, and they're pretty interesting because they'll actually hibernate underwater for several months at a time. And because these animals are amphibians, they breathe with their lungs and their skin. But when it's cold, they go under the water and only breathe with their skin. What's quite remarkable is that these animals will be under the water for several months at a time, not contracting their breathing muscles. And then when they come up from hibernating under the water for several months at a time, their neuromuscular systems that cause their lungs to breathe actually work perfectly. So we're trying to understand why in human conditions, oftentimes uh, they abide by the rule of use it or lose it. Whereas in this system, they actually seem to do just fine. What I like to do in the classroom is highlight specific examples of those major landmark discoveries that we would not have today if we did not understand how certain animals in nature essentially do what they do. This equipment here is used to study the electrical properties of individual neurons and we can study uh, the ion channel proteins that basically cause electrical signaling by using this equipment. So in my lab, my goal is to get undergraduate students and graduate students designing their own projects and really thinking like scientists. When I come into the lab every morning, the biggest thing that really gets me out of bed is just the possibility and the chance of learning something new and interesting. Yeah, there's gonna be failure along the way, but watching these cells that we study respond to different environments and challenges and just seeing what we see is really what does it for me.